The current display market is gradually shifting to AMOLED from LCD. Devices have become lighter and easier to carry around. Accordingly, in coming years, flexible displays will be a predominant component in the market. LCD works by projecting light from behind. Because of this, color changes depending on the brightness of the light projected. On the other hand, AMOLED, Active Matrix Organic Light Emitting Diode, has enabled more consistent display of colors by using self-illuminating organic materials. It has also become thinner and lighter. However, it is not flexible since it is made of glass. In order to solve this problem, it should be made of plastics rather than glass. Thin film encapsulation is a core technology that protects organic materials, which can easily be contaminated by oxygen and moisture. When protective film is not properly formed, dark spots will form on the screen. Necessity of new thin film encapsulation concept. Existing thin film encapsulation cannot be applied to a flexible display. It requires more thinner film, flexible and durable that can be mass produced. <laughs> Professor Sang Jun So of Sung Kyung Kwan University in Korea developed a technology called RAMPAD. This brand new technology will bring about the commercialization of the flexible display. The professor has also succeeded in making an actual device that works, thus proving the feasibility of this technology. Compared to existing technologies, which only use a single plasma module, new RAMPAD injects sources from each film, causing reacting source and plasma to react and erupt in the plasma module, and this enables coating on a heated board. It enabled much faster coating as the board itself moves while being coated. And it has also reduced the formation of a particle, a damage done by plasma, by removing the remaining gas right after reaction. This allowed the coating with thinness of one thousandth of that of a human hair, while its high density, which restricts the access of oxygen and moisture, has resulted in improved capability. Moreover, the technology can be applied for various other uses, depending on heat temperature, and the number of plasma modules used. Test of WVTR, or Water Vapor Transmission Rate, should result in an acceptable value. For OLED, test result should be less than 10 to the negative 6 grams per meter squared per day for the technology to be commercialized. So far, glass has been the only material that satisfied this criteria. But the test, conducted by Korea Research Institute of Standard and Science, showed that the thin film made by using RAMPAD proved to be applicable as the resulting value came out as 10 to the negative 6 grams per meter squared per day on average. In our laboratory, the film has endured 1,000 hours under the harsh condition of 85 degrees Celsius of temperature and 85% moisture rate, a level acceptable by all global companies. This has made us a step closer toward the era of flexible display. RAMPAD technology is applicable to all the components in flexible display other than those related to the organic materials. These include thin film encapsulation, TFT process architecture, flexible substrate process. We have developed flexible AMOLED, thin film encapsulation method, inorganic layer production method, and its production devices. We have applied for and registered total 60 patents related to these technologies, including 40 domestic and 20 international patents. Working in multiple affiliates of Samsung Group, Professor Sang Jun Sol 
have conducted extensive research on polymer electrolyte fuel cell in Samsung SDI and flexible OLED display in Samsung STC. His contribution earned him accommodation from CEO as a research team member of World Largest Flexible AMOLED in 2009 and another recognition from CEO for his role as a person in charge of high throughout thin film encapsulation research. Owning 40 domestic and 20 international patents in the field of thin barrier film encapsulation for flexible AMOLED, he is a professor of engineering college of Sung Kyung Kwan University while running a joint research with major domestic and global corporations today.